A group of experts led by Paul Knox and James Darcy stressed in London the importance of collecting good quality evidence in humanitarian action. They have collided the recommendations in a paper presented at the Overseas Development Institute in February. They acknowledge that gathering good quality evidence in an emergency can be a real challenge, but there are ways to improve the data currently used to make decisions, such as who are the recipients of humanitarian aid and how much they should receive. Knox says that recent humanitarian crises, such as the one in Somalia in 2009, have shown that the early warning and the decision-making process in those circumstances can still be improved. Many organizations, when they had that evidence, they didn't have processes to decide what to do about it. So if they knew something was happening, um, in, in going to happen in six, eight months' time, there wasn't a decision as to a goal, a, 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 a clarity around who was meant to make the decision, do something or don't do something. And even if there was, there wasn't evidence about what should we do next. Knox says that data collected by different organisations should be shared. At the moment, a lot of evidence is not shared, which means that it's not critiqued effectively. Uh, sharing evidence would allow organisations to critique each other and improve the quality of the evidence. Um, there's, there are few mechanisms, although some organisations such as CALP have, have done this, but there are few mechanisms for identifying common issues that need to be addressed. Um, and there are only slowly growing common repositories of evidence. So the whole idea of sharing evidence, I think, would greatly improve both the quality and the use of evidence. In this sense, big data and data mining can improve the quality of the evidence, but they pose ethical issues such as the confidentiality of that information and the consent of the people involved. At the moment, quite a lot of data is locked inside individual agencies. It's only used once. And it would be great if we could begin to explore some of the potential of big data in this space and to mine data um, from different contexts and over time so that we can be interrogating it from different perspectives. One of the important things we'd have to do, though, is to think about the ethical um, and practicalities of doing that. And I think that remains quite a big challenge for us.